Today we're going to talk about uh, what to do in the field if you have to cut a hole into a PVC post. Um, most of your posts when you order a job are going to, going to come uh, with holes already cut into it and there's a lot of different kinds of posts. You can get uh, line posts which have a hole on both sides, a corner post which have two sides making a corner or an end post and then sometimes you just order a blank post if it's up against the house and you don't need any holes in it. But those holes are going to come cut uh, professionally by a CNC machine like you've seen us do before. But sometimes you're on a job and you need to put holes into a post that you already have and you don't have a CNC machine and why would you have to put holes into a uh, post? One reason might be uh, you're connecting into an existing post. Your neighbor has a fence up and there's a post and you want to cut holes into it and continue the fence down your property line so you'd have to be able to cut uh, holes into that post or you might have a blank post uh, on the job and you need an end post or you have an end post and you need a corner post uh, so you would have to add holes to a post that you already have. Another reason you might put holes into a post is if you're changing the elevation of your fence and you have an end post and you have to drop the holes down and do a step down. So there's a lot of different reasons to put holes into a post on the job site. I found the easiest way to cut holes into an existing post is to take a line post that's already cut on both sides, lay it on top of the post that you want to cut, line it up like this, and then you're going to need a couple of different things. You're going to need a pencil. I prefer a thin pencil uh, rather than a thick pencil because you want the line to be really accurate. Uh, pencil like this, you're not going to get an accurate line when you trace the hole. Uh, a thinner pencil, you'll get a, a better uh, outline of the hole. You're going to need a drill with a bit to make a hole into the uh, uh, tracing and you need something to cut it with. A jigsaw is the easiest thing to use. A lot of guys don't have a jigsaw and they refuse to spend the $30 to get a jigsaw. Uh, those kind of people we usually call our competitors. Uh, the holes are terrible. I see it all the time. They think they can use a sawzall on the job. It's a really floppy uh, blade. It makes a terrible uh, cut into the PVC and you can tell how terrible of a cut it is. Um, we're going to show you how terrible a cut a sawzall is. So get the right tool. A jigsaw, a, uh, even a router and a template uh, would be great. You don't want to use a sawzall. So the first way is to lay down a line post on top of the post. Put the pencil through here and you're just going to draw the rectangle. Just trace it like this and then go down to your second hole and do the same thing. And now we have two clear rectangles that we can cut holes into uh, and, and get the holes that we need in the post. Uh, if you don't have a line post available, you can do it in different ways. Uh, if you have a piece of scrap, the rail that goes into the hole, you can use this to trace out rectangles. Uh, but you would need to know on the post where to put them. So what we're going to do is just measure um, on the post. I need two holes, one two and an eighth inches down and the other 68 and three quarter inches down. Okay, so I'm going to write those two measurements down and what I would do is on here, I would make a mark two and an eighth inches and another one 68 and three quarter inches and then I could use the piece of scrap to draw these. I would put this on the edge right here and I'm going to try to center it uh, so there's the same amount of distance on both sides. Um, you can eyeball it, it's not going to make a difference if you're off a sixteenth of an inch or you could just kind of measure it um, an inch and a half over here and an inch and a half over here and then I would just hold this down and I would draw Okay, and then I would just turn this around and line that up again so that I can get this edge over here, my top rectangle, and I'll do the same thing for my bottom. That's 68 and three quarter inches, and I'm going to put this on here, and I'm going to make sure there's about the same amount of distance on both sides. 
and I got my second one. Also, if you know, um, if you do a lot of fencing and you use the same profile all the time, this is a one and a half, five and a half rail. Um, what I have here is a post. Um, it was a garbage post uh, with that hole cut into it. I just kind of cut out a corner. Uh, so if I have to make a post on the uh, job site, I can use this. It's already lined up. I can just lay this down and draw my rectangle real quick. I don't have to use a piece of scrap. Uh, so usually I'll have something in the truck with every hole size um, just to quickly make a hole. Now we have to put the hole into the post. To use the jigsaw or the sawzall, we have to put a hole in there. I'm gonna use a drill with any kind of a bit that's bigger than the blade that has to go into the hole. I have a three quarter inch bit on here right now. Uh, could be a half inch, it doesn't really matter. Anywhere in that box, I'm going to make a hole. And then I'm gonna do the same thing down here. I'm just gonna pop a hole in here. We're gonna put on our safety goggles because I'm not gonna go blind in case a piece of plastic get shot up and basically I'm going to just start in the hole. I'm going to work my way up to the top. I'm going to do the top of the hole and then I'm going to come down and I'm going to do this one. A jigsaw is really easy. Um, it's easy to maneuver inside of the uh, hole and I'm going to, I'm going to want to keep tight. I don't want to go outside the lines. I want to keep on the line as much as possible. If it's a tight fit, it's really good. If it doesn't fit, if when I'm done, my rail doesn't fit in there easily, I could always make the hole a little bit bigger. But if you start out making the hole too big, uh, it's going to look like garbage and, and you can't fix that. You have to start all over. So let's just stay on the line for now, okay? Let's see how we did. I'm gonna take my piece of rail and we'll see if it fits in here. And it fits in there nicely. Uh, so we did a good job on this one. And if you look at this hole, it's not perfect uh, because it's not cut with a CNC machine, but it's pretty darn good. What I generally try to do is if I'm cutting a hole into a post and I already have the holes from the CNC machine, I'll try to make the CNC machine holes, the better holes, uh, the ones that would be more visible. Like if it's a corner post in the back corner, I would make the good, uh, the CNC machine holes face forward and my holes face to the side uh, because you're not gonna see them as much as the other ones. Um, but anyway, these ho this hole came out pretty perfect, so I'm happy with it. Um, now let's do the bottom hole. Now you know what to do if you need to put a hole into a PVC post while you're out in the field. And there we have the hole. Ah, this hole is terrible. Now you know what to do if you need to put a hole into a PVC post while you're out in the field. Um, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us. If you're on Long Island and you need help putting a hole in a post, stop by uh, for a nominal fee. We will throw it on the CNC machine and cut the holes for you. Uh, otherwise, get yourself a jigsaw, a drill bit, a pencil, and a pair of glasses and cut your own hole. 
Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel.